Hello everyone, it's Brickbuster here. This video is a bit different than the others because today is the first part of a big LEGO Star Wars story I made with my friends last week. The concept is quite simple, two videos, two scenes about events involving fictional characters that happened during Order 66 and the Empire Times. And if you're ready, let's begin. This first battle takes place right before Order 66 in the snowy planet of Galoo. Surrounded, the Master Jedi Agamar tries to resist, with the help of her Padawan Satil and his clone commander Moor. We put every Separatist droids and vehicle we both have in this scene, including six droidicas, one crab droid, two little spider droids, two super battle droids, more than 40 battle droids B1, two corporate alien tank droids, one big homing spider droid, as well as three AAT tanks. The droid army is much stronger than they thought, and the clones are dying. But Master Mar is sensing something coming in the distance. Is that reinforcements? He was right. Two Republic fighter tanks and a bunch of 501st troopers are coming into the rescue, and they can finally organize an offensive. These new troops are led by this dark haired female Jedi that you can see standing on the rock. Even this AT-80 tank was brought into the battle, in order to destroy as many droids as possible. The droids are now in a difficult position, and many of the tanks have been destroyed. Dark-haired Jedi was injured during the battle and was told by the Master to stay near the Republic tanks. The droids are now outnumbered and the clones keep on going. Victory is near. Execute Order 66. Hours after the second offensive on the droids, Clone received Order 66 and began to aim on their fellow Jedi, shooting them without hesitation. The female Jedi finds herself alone to fight, while the Master Jedi and the Padawan face the clones together in the battlefield. Because it's night time, the clones activate a light in order to identify the Jedi. Like Cody, Moore is affected by Order 66 and betray his former Jedi friend. So, I didn't record it, but the black-haired female Jedi was injured by one of the tank's explosion. She's technically not dead, but was abandoned. In fact, Master Mar and his Padawan Satil reached the Republic outpost with the help of a 187th Legion Airborne Trooper that got his inhibitor chip damaged. With this precious help, they stole an Arc 170 and began to leave the planet before it was too late. But one of the nearest Venator crew member was informed the Arc 170 was coming in the direction and ordered a blockade. Meanwhile, Moore and his surviving crew came aboard the Republic gunship and went after them. Will they survive? And what will happen next? Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you soon for the next part.